We have with us today the freshest and the sweetest news from the Korean bio industry. My name is Juri Hwang and I will be delivering some of Korea's hottest biotech issues today for you. So don't forget to subscribe to, like and set your alarm for bio TV. In this episode 28 of the Bio News, I will be talking about Isu Epsis, which has acquired a patent for a new anti-cancer drug from the European Patent Office, as well as news about Rocket Healthcare, which has registered its special equipment for organ regeneration with the US FDA. In addition, there's also news about Tulgen and how they have transferred their CAR-T technology to an Australian company. So please pay close attention. Now, then shall we get started? Isu Epsis's new anti-cancer drug has received a patent from the European Patent Office. With the acquisition of the patent, it is now patented, not only in European countries, but also in eight other countries, including the US, Russia, and China. The main ingredient for Isu 104 is baricitumab which targets is an oncoprotein that plays an important role in the growth and survival of tumor cells and is called ERBB3. The ERBB family of proteins are highly related to cancer and is a major anti-cancer factor effective, especially for the ERBB3 protein that is known to cause tolerance to anti-cancer drugs. And Isu Epsis is developing the drug as a first in-class drug. Let's keep an eye out for the future moves of Isu Epsis, a company that has dominated not only the US and Chinese market, but also the European market. Rocket Healthcare has completed registration with the US FDA for its specialized equipment, Bio Niche Regenerators, specialized for organ regeneration, decellularization, and recellularization. The equipment enables effective decellularization using the automated system and a self-developed decellularization solution. It is also equipped with the recellularization function and is suitable for organ regeneration. The equipment's automation technology enables the user to take care of an existing set of complex process with just one piece of this equipment, thereby making it possible to maximize the effect of organ regeneration technology. Rocket Healthcare has displayed confidence that by using its Bio 4D printing technology, it will be able to secure all the technologies for regenerating organs, including those for complex organs such as heart, liver, kidneys, and lungs. Also, Rocket Healthcare plans to launch Bio Niche Regenerator in South Korea in August. Tujin has signed a contract with Australian cell therapy companies Cartherix for the transfer of its next generation CAR T technology, which makes use of the CRISPR Cas9 genetic scissors. This contract concerns the right to develop an immune cell therapy against the TAG72 antigen, a marker expressed in solid cancer and blood cancer by applying Tujin's gene editing function enhancement technology. Carthrix is currently in the preclinical stage of development for next generation TAG72 CAR T gene therapy, which will make use of Tulgen's technology. The therapy itself is also scheduled to enter phase one clinical trials for ovarian cancer in the US in 2022. Carthrix next generation TAG72 CAR T therapy is said to have significantly improved therapeutic efficacy and durability in cell and animal models compared to existing CAR T therapies. Here is hoping that we soon hear news about clinical trials for Tulgen's other major pipelines as well. Well, that's it for today's news. Don't forget to subscribe to, like, and set your alarm for bio news. And make sure to have Korea Bio as a friend on Facebook and LinkedIn as well. I'll come back to you in just two weeks with more new interesting issues related to the Korean bio industry. Bye.